right, this time we are gonna roll up on Mr. Billy Midnight. Somewhere down in the roads. So, uh, eh, it should be daytime by the time I get there. Oh, what is right. going on? Damn You're in this state for the federal government. You're an enemy of this state. Get away, I ain't. You know why you're here, don't you? You're <laughs> Thank you, stranger. Man, I don't care for Confederates. Okay, well, just found out the game literally forces you not to shoot anybody because you're an acting deputy. So, that's one way of doing it. Hello, Gim. Don't tell me you're Billy Midnight. Hey, you there. A quick word. What can I do for you, sir? There's an old gunslinger I'm looking for. I heard he comes through here. Name of Midnight? Billy? Oh, that old soak? Yeah, he spends days on board these trains, but he's going nowhere but the gutter. Yeah, okay. I'm asking you to find him right in the next one through here. Either that or the next one. Try them both. Look in the bar car. Oh, another alcohol word. Shocker. Midnight. Ah, you don't want to be Billy Midnight. Ah, you must be Billy Midnight. <laughs> Mr. Midnight? Excuse me, I'm trying to drink. Mr. Midnight, listen, this won't take a moment. I just want to talk with you about your old days as a shootist. Get away from me! Hey! I didn't shoot him in his sleep! No one's I saying didn't shoot that. him in his sleep, and if I did, it was the only way. Not a problem. I'm here about Jim Boy Calloway, and no one shot him yet. I knew you'd come for me. Get away from me! What? That... Mr. Midnight! Uh, that escalated. <laughs> you drunken asshole. I just want to talk. Okay, um, this could take a while. What is this? No, I'm not skipping the checkpoint. That's the mission. Although that is embarrassing. I shot the... No, that is bullshit. Oh my god. going on here. And I missed. I just missed the shot. This is, uh... Yeah. 
idiot. So where am I? Um, hmm. If I jump off now, I can go and do this mission for the Grays. We're gonna jump off with the train. Yep, that hurt. This here the Gray Plantation? Yep. Gallagher Hall. And that's as close as you're getting to it. Sheriff's orders. If you wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property, I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. Dick. I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Okay, fine. Let's go find Bo. Part of this asshole reading. Thinking he's all smart. Wearing an asshole. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a huh? secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The <laughs> thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be okay, complicated. Where am I going to get? She's a is Braithwaite. That? I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, so I'm supposed literally to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Grays, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. <coughs> Take her this letter <laughs> and this bracelet. Ooh, Please. Bracelet. Yeah, I'm that. They're worse with strangers than ours are. Oh, great. Nice Braithwaite Manor. Oh, for God. Really? You asshole. Don't attack the guards. This shouldn't be too hard. Let's just go this way. Right? Or, oh, son of a bitch. I have to go all the way over here. Intruder on the property! Can't have folks just wandering through here! <laughs> You're gonna die right here! That went to hell quickly. Plus 
looks like shit. Oh, yeah, I'm good. So there's no gators in here. <laughs> There are no gators, right? Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. It's probably soaking and wet. A gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but oh, also little. so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different, but if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. <laughs> have you ever been to Ohio, oh my sir? God. No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left, but now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. Hey, you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, oh will you give this to him? Sure. No. <clears throat> Do I look like a courier? Make the earth up being seen. Why is it red now? You know me. I'm, I'm on official business for the family. All right. Come on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Fucking up your garden. <clears throat> See, you can have like banging horses or something. Thought I could hop the fence. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. <laughs> Million dollars. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. 
My God. What a woman. Oh, She's... <coughs> This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. What the fuck? But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just <laughs> no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. <sighs> Great. Hands up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Whatever you say, man. Weirdo. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're both. doing. Doing here. Are I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Just what? Bam, right off. Fight this mob. We must begin. They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain <laughs> elements. Since Mostly it was my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what, your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun! Miss Calhoun! My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a... Protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, Oh god, the singer. And I can't go any faster. Take us down Main Street, oh right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Oh, so he gets his real name. Okay. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun mm -hmm. to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. Okay, how many people have to shoot? I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. There's a lot of horse shit on the ground here. And that one just step right in it. Oh, you do give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Well, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. No one got shot yet. Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. Ladies, get down! Come on! Come on! Go home! Shut your mouth! 
are you doing? What the hell is going on? Well, man, oh my God, you all this trouble. You don't even know what I can't understand what they're saying. It's made us a Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a great day for all of us. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals? Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Founding fathers, not founding mothers, you silly old goat. This philosophy dependent on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. (laughs) Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. Oh, God. You learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was. Bo, why don't we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Or what? You'll hit me? Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? No, I'm just going to beat the shit out of these guys. Let's go. Quick now. We are all alone. We got to go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Well, you're the one that says you're in a rush. Why are you taking your sweet ass time? (laughs) Come on, Bo. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure? You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... I I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. (laughs) But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. How's the horse do this? This is awful! Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers bastards. are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. <laughs> oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! Damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here, your payment. Thank you. I- excuse me. That was simple. Burn, burn. Burn, shoot his ass. Hmm, okay, well. We'll call that a day on this one. And, uh. Get back to the next one. Let's see how this goes. All right. Oh, this new crazy mother. <laughs> <laughs>